Well, hello everybody, Dave here, and it's Super Bowl Sunday. And this goes out to all of my Q people and my MAGA people. It's the Super Bowl, nothing happened again. I just wanna remind you that my bet's still open, $1,000 to anybody um, who believes that Trump is gonna become, come back as president <clears throat> on March the 4th. I'm betting against that. Hopefully you're betting for that and we can uh, bet. And if Trump comes back and becomes president on March 4th, then I owe you a thousand dollars. But if he doesn't, you owe me a thousand dollars. But what I wanted to talk about tonight is for anybody out there who wants to have a great laugh, go to greatawakening.win. And as I was going through this website, which is the Q meeting point. It's even more Q people meet there than on Acoon. I came across this great thread and I just want you to read. Now these are people that consider themselves patriots and Christians. And somebody proposed the question, plans for March 4th? When reality sets in that we are under full-blown communist rule, what are your plans? And I just wanted to read to you some of the uh, responses from these Q people and MAGA people. If Trump is to be president March 4th, that means the storm pretty much has to start now to prepare everyone. After March 4th, I'm fucking done. Here we go again. If nothing happens by March 4th, I won't understand. I'll be furious even that God would ignore all of our prayers. And when you pray to him, it's just false hope from habit that you'll never gain anything from him in return. Told you. Good question, somebody else says. I think they're planning to start gun confiscation. Man, these people, they always worry about guns. Here's another one. I'm preparing for the inevitable outcome whereby my college educated, you know, cause being college educated, that's evil. Middle-aged, upper-class, wine-box-guzzling, fake, wor woke, white, justice warrior sisters fighting racism for their social media bunkers. Yeah, fighting racism. That's horrible. They'll report me to the state for being a white supremacist terrorist, even though I was the one who dedicated several years of my life to rescuing children from human trafficking in Mexico. And now I work as a public servant providing services for low-income Hispanics. Here's another one. Yup, I'm a physician and I take care of all people. These people are mentally ill. It's all about destroying our freedoms and taking away our property. Complete control is what the rulers want. And a response, exactly. My father was an ER physician, dedicated his whole life to helping all people, spoke three languages and was the doctor non-English and was the doctor, I have to, I'm sorry, they don't spell very good or any pronunciation. And he was the doctor to non-English speaking Hispanics who were flooding the ER. Well, that's what you get when you don't have any medical care. He participated in medical missions in some of the poorest places on earth. In his retirement, he started a home for abused and abandoned children in Mexico. Boy, everybody does everything in Mexico. Why don't they do it here? Whatever. His father was a surgeon who would provide his services to free, for free to poor minorities who could not afford it. Served as a medic in the Air Force in World War II. Yet now they are both considered racist, white supremacist terrorists. Straight white Christian men, the enemies of humanity. Fuck this planet. Another response, they hate whites because a lot of us have the culture that is opposite of what Democrats want. What, being traitors to your country? We are to be white saviors over everyone else. And here's a really happy person. We need euthanasia as a backup plan. Okay, he wants to kill people. I'm in a dooming mood to think of how they'll go about it. If the military plays along, 
I swear, this is the end of it for me. And then somebody put, agreed. And then the person said, replied to them, by end of it, it means the end of my own life. Life would become such an utter curse that will never get better. I'll go up to God and say, thanks for creating me for nothing, you jerk. Some Christians here with faith. Somebody else wrote, eventually we should defer any longer. Freedom's going fast. This is assuming our military is too cowardice to do anything for the people that support the military. No, they don't. They only support you when you do what they want. I suspect my hope will seriously fade. I keep asking, how can this happen? Stealing the election so blatantly and apparently getting away with it? It's just not right. Seeing how their fraud was so in your face. I'll vote in my local state elections and that's it. I don't expect them to look in the mirror, see the error of their ways, and suddenly do the right thing. It just seems to me the longer they remain in office, I don't know. I hope I'm wrong. Also, if nothing happens by March 4th, we can consider God's word dead as well for ignoring all of us and our prayers. Wow, these people are really Christian. So if God doesn't do exactly what you want, fuck him. Okay. And they say I'm bad because I'm an atheist. And then somebody responded, why? Did God promise you anything for March 4th? And then they said again, no, but tossing us to communists would definitely show us an uncaring God who would be as worthless as the DOJ or the other three-letter agencies. And then somebody responded, whatever happens, never ever let anyone drag you to their own home. Better to die fighting. <laughs> These people are idiots. And the final one, this is why I say we need to have euthanasia as an option to escape this world. Man, these people are in a death cult. This is a death cult. I just read to you. These people are crazy. I hope you like this. This is David Zoe Zizzles. Make sure you like and subscribe. Have a great Super Bowl Sunday. Don't get sucked in by these idiots. Bye.